Hello and welcome. In this video, you will learn how you can remove item from the wish list. So this one should be easy as we know how you can add it. So when someone click on the remove, you know this is the active one. It is going to call the remove and it is going to give us that sweet alert here. So I will come to the JavaScript. Now this is not the app I have. This is our app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the code inspire app here. And this is the remove function. So I'm going to again comment this code because we haven't refactored this one. It is all we have to do. But again, I'm going to send a request. Now, which request you are going to send? Remember, when you are sending a delete one, then you can send a delete request. So if I check the documentation of Axios, you can uh, search for the delete. You can also send a delete request. Since you are not dealing it with like too hard data, all we have to do is just send a post request and it should also work fine but you can do the delete one also so here is how you can do this one on the remove wish list that i call here i'm going to pass those parameters also you know when i call this one i need to have like the customer id and the product id so what i will do is i will pass the same information here also i'm going to cut this one and paste it here so i should have access to all of those information now i will save it and it is clear that when i call this function this one should be called now in here i am going to say axios dot delete now i can send a delete request if you come to the axios documentation search for the delete request they do have an axios delete but there is a little problem with that with axios you cannot send the data check this one post has the data but the axios delete does not have it so that will not work for us because we need the data instead of that we are going to send a post request the same thing is going to be sent but this time into two separate url and this one should be delete or you can just say remove wishlist whatever you name it you can name it but this is the api and this is the data we are sending both of them but in a different api i will come to the api i'll duplicate this one and it is also going to accept a parameter but this time it is sending it to the it's not the story destroy function so where is the destroy function you come to the wish list at the bottom of the page here is the destroy function for now let's console like let's output the data that we get so i will say return as you may check this is like wish list wish list it come in laravel 5.3 i think something like that and instead of this one i'm going to say request dollar sign request so this is going to accept the request now here i do have access to all the data the user sent for now i will just return it everything seems to be fine again i recap if someone click on this one it should accept parameters like customer id okay i forgot to put this one so it should be exactly the same it will accept the customer id the product id and the shop id will be automatically sent from here for now and this is how it works if i come to my app here i will refresh everything this is the wish list in the first click it is adding the product in the second click it is removing in both way as you may check the response is 200 which means these are like successful response so if i check the remove here this is the response and this is the preview we have all of this data now how we can remove it it is really easy once you have those information you can easily remove it so here is how you can do this one you can use uh, where to find the the item that you want and then you can delete it so here is how we can specify it i can say item and then i say go to the wish list database and you can use the where function where let's say shop underscore id is going to be equal to dollar sign request since request is an array so it has the shop id with this first one and then you can use the other where here all the data should match so this should be customer 
ID. I will just write them one by one. Customer ID. I hope I'm not making any spelling mistake here. And the last where should be a product ID. So this one should be also using request. Then product ID. And at the end, you are either going to say get or you are going to say first. And this function is going to return that data. If you do not use uh, first or get, it is not going to return it. So it will return it here. And now that item should contain your, let's say, a specific product. What you can do is you can say instead of returning this one, you can say return and also delete it at the same time. Which this, you can use the destroy function and this destroy function I accept a parameter like the product ID or let's say the item ID so what you can do is you can say item ID since this is going to return later here it will contain the ID the ID is the ID that you have here and that is going to be unique always if I save it for now if this is going to return true it means it is going to be one so I will come to my app here refresh it currently in my database i have one record you refresh it okay this is one record click add to wish list yes it is 200 add to wish list again this is also 200 check this one okay the previous the preview says one which means this action was successful and if i refresh my database yeah the data was removed and if i come here click again it added to the database you refresh it and here it is and you click again it should remove it from the database this is that much easy so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and in the next video you will see how you can detect the active wish list this is also easy how you can find if the data already is in the product like the customer's wish list make this button active